Sustainable agriculture is no longer a goal. It has become a requirement to meet the needs of today's ever-changing world. The future of farming is dependent on new innovations in technology that maximize efficiency and increase food production to feed a growing population. DigiKey presents Farm Different, powered by Kemet, SD Microelectronics and Supply Frame. A series where we explore how technology like vertical farming, electric vehicles and complex sensors are making the future of farming a reality. In this episode, we explore how innovators in the ag tech industry are developing new technologies that allow for sustainable and efficient farming into the future. So this is the Green and Blue Farm in development right now for aquaponic farm in, in Catalonia. We're developing the space basically. We took back a, an ancient greenhouse that was 30 years old and repurposed it for aquaponics. And here we're experimenting how to combine artificial light with the LEDs uh, with natural light. So here we have a bit of both and it turns out that the combination is really good for them. The interesting thing about the aquaponic system is that we don't fertilize with fertilizers we have to buy, but we fertilize with the poo from the fish that we have in the same system. So what we're trying to do here with aquaponics is getting the maximum quality possible with the minimum environmental impact possible, right? So we don't use chemical fertilizers, we don't use pesticides. Aquaponics allows us not only to farm more sustainably, but also to farm much faster and make a production out of these 1,200 square meters that we have here, which maybe in an open field we'd need an entire hectare to do. The idea is that the cycle is small and minimum carbon footprint as well. Alex Roscoe is the co-founder of Grow Flux Inc., a leader in horticulture lighting systems and connected IoT farming offering intelligent systems that can be set up in minutes rather than months and are controllable using intuitive apps. I started the company around seven years ago and I started to see that the impact of controlled environment agriculture is going to be huge and that there is uh, nowhere near the right technology uh, needed in the space to scale farms of the future. In some places, energy is 60% higher and only the space of three months. And so when you have you know, farms, indoor vertical farms, greenhouses, and equipment makers uh, within this industry that have to respond to that, what we're finding is that more of them need our products and services. Farms and growers that have the advantage of data solutions as well as the software APIs to connect data they're the ones that have the advantage in this environment where all costs are going up. Our core product is uh, plug and play lighting controllers. These are IoT devices that have robust wireless mesh networking capability and cloud connectivity built directly into the product. When it comes to developing new products and discovering new products, uh, DigiKey has you know, more uh, manufacturers that we otherwise would not find. You know, traditionally, controlled environment agriculture has been behind the times on technology, uh, but that's starting to change rapidly. I think there's a little bit of a misconception about farmers and tech. What I've experienced is that farmers are not tech agnostic, they're tech impatient. So you've got to build something that fits into their operation and delivers what they need easily tech needs to work for them, they shouldn't be working for tech. So they're willing to invest what they need to if the solution is proven and it can help them. I don't have an ag tech background, I have a manufacturing background, they know what it takes to grow a great crop. And so listening to the ultimate customer was what drove the development of Soil Tech Wireless. Prior to technologies like ours, growers would drive around and pick up the dirt with their hand to make a determination about whether or not they needed to irrigate. And this is a very manual process, it takes significant time, it's burning fuel in the car. And it's not really scalable. One man's hand is different from another. We set out with the goal of developing uh, a sensor in, in a capsule that you could bury totally under the ground. We put together a lot of various different parts into a capsule, put it under the ground to see if it would transmit, and if we could get reliable moisture readings, which we could. And then as we started to demonstrate that that part of the product worked, farmers would say, hey, if you're doing that, why don't you add temperature? 
humidity and various other sensors. So it evolved uh, with, with feedback from the growers. The water is critical to growing a lot of crops and managing that water is of utmost importance and is becoming more and more important as we face drought throughout the country. Riley M. Kuffner is the CEO of Miravel, a company focused on reducing the world's reliance on mass-produced agriculture, bringing sustainable, farm-to-table agriculture into today's homes. We call this stuff like creating an adaptive habitat. Um, so, you know, it starts with robotics and controls that can provide the inputs for life. Um, so this wall garden behind me has LED lights for lighting, um, an automatic irrigation system, um, and we also are able to control um, the fertilizer, um, the nutrients that plants get. Set the time, and you're pretty much off to the races. We'd capture environmental variables, so whatever's going on, where the unit's located, like temperature, humidity, the ambient light, um, and then have cameras that can detect the health of the living species, so see how the plants are growing. We send all of this data um, through our IoT-enabled microcontroller to the cloud, and then we have AI models that can analyze the inputs and the outputs to learn how to grow food most effectively in any given environment. When you go ahead and um, you know, tile this together um, on a whole wall, you can build it um, in during uh, renovation or new construction. If you look at software, it's very easy to iterate and test. Uh, test, you're just writing lines of code. Hardware is orders of magnitude more difficult because you need to bring in all these different physical items. It's complicated uh, enough to do that. So having a vendor like DigiKey and some others that do more like mechanical components are huge um, for our testing. With over 100 years of technological innovation expertise, Kemet provides key components to drive agriculture 4.0 forward that allow farmers to take control of their fields and maximize their crop yields. For me personally and, and the team at Kemet, what's happening in the agricultural industry mirrors what's happening in other industries as well as, as big data, electrification, analysis, artificial intelligence techniques. They all require more advanced components. And, and that's exciting for us because that's what we do. We're in the component industry. We build those things. ST Microelectronics is a leading global semiconductor company that provides key components for all manner of modern electronic devices, including those found on today's farms. We just don't sell the customer a solution. We help them in the implementation as well. So to see them apply in various aspects, that is very uh, gratifying for a company like ST. Sustainability is key for the art of farming to meet the demand of a growing population. New technological innovations are enabling agriculture to discover new methods of growing, harvesting and shipping food. To reach this goal, we must farm different.